Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop me a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the video just gives you good vibes and an uplift, go ahead and share it with somebody else. They may be able to get it too and you can go even further. So with that being said, much love to you. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And the video I'm doing right now is called uh, Twin Flame 101. Taking, um, hey, Oka's taking time for, recal uh, for uh, recalibrating. Um, reset, recharge, rest, all you're bringing the revelations that are uh, makes you resilient. It is so true. You know, um, what was it? That, that 333 uh, portal, Lord Jesus. I don't know um, if you've been hearing like different uh, things that's taken place where, you know, universe and your guides are telling you to rest. Um, it's time for you to recharge. You know, you can get as much sleep as you possibly can. You still wake up. You still feel fatigued, lethargic, in, in, in the utmost, you, you know, level. In the most tense level because you're purging out a lot of different things right now. You know, it's allowing a lot of, uh, of, of your past vibrations to come up. You know, um, different things that may have really shook you to the core a lot of things that you may have suppressed that you didn't realize you suppressed because a lot of times we do that you know that's our coping mechanism a lot of times we just act like it don't happen and just try to find any and every way to make sure you know different things um that we'll forget it you know and it, it's just like universe is really wanting to clear your slate you know these are the times that you um you really have to just clear your mind you know what you're wanting to bring into your life you know they're wanting you to challenge yourself you know uh but before that can happen they really needed you to take that time out for yourself get as much rest as you can get out in nature if the if the weather is permitting it um you know meditate pray yoga you know do things that you know uplift you in every kind of way because it's like the more you take time for yourself you know a lot of times we got to be selfish you know when it comes to ourselves i haven't did any videos almost close to a week and it was just like i was just so tired you know and it would be you know i was waking up at all times of the night you know with downloads and upgrades and you know i'm purging out of a lot um, you know, disconnecting from a lot of different energies, uh, people, um, especially if it has anything to do with toxic connections, you know, you're, you're allowing yourself to really get through that as well. And just being able to, you know, if different life lessons is coming up from the past is trying to ask you, what do you get from that lesson that you have had? You know, we're wanting you to make room for something that's very more suitable for you. You know, we know you're working on a lot of different things that you're trying to manifest into your life before you can go and open that door and that door is starting to open for you. They're wanting you to know what life lessons did you learn from these different situations. You know, whether it was good or bad, they're always teaching lessons with you. You know, um, you, you may have supported people that didn't support you back. It was just letting you know you were that blessing for that person. Or it could have been the other way around. Somebody just supported you and when they needed you, you didn't support them back. You know, somebody was praying for that blessing. And it just happened to be either that person was bringing blessings to you. God used God in the universe, you guys, whatever. Use that person to bring blessings into your life and vice versa. And being able to appreciate that. A lot of times we, we go through things and it really can hurt us to the core. You know, saying, oh, it's not fair. You know, why is it always it always got to be the one who get the short end of the stick? You know, um, and, and it's a lot of times it's like, you don't ever think that the things that you're doing for other people are for in vain. You know, they're always saying, you know, when you do nice things for people, don't expect it to come in return so you never get disappointed. But just appreciate that you were that person. You were on that person's prayer list or whatever you have done for them, you were able to help them through. And you're learning so many different things about that. And you know, you're getting yourself in balance. You know, it's just like a lot of times we can do, you know, um, 
more things than the other you know it was like before with me I used to always do videos always doing one-on-ones with people you know doing my podcast doing my IG stuff you know and I never took time out for myself and you know universe is like you you can't outweigh one with the other you have to be able to make that time for yourself you know um, and being able to be set on a routine and it's just with me and my ADD and my OCD. It, it, we, you know, it'll get carried over. I'll be doing one thing and then I'll see something else been neglected and then go back over here and I'll be all over the place. And God's like, you need to stop that. You're making me dizzy. You know, so this is that time where they want you to create balance in your life. You know, um, if, you, if you have like a, a loved one or, you know, wife, husband and stuff like that, always make sure you put them first. You know, you got to put your, your family and your loved ones first. And then when those different things take place, you know, you spend time with them for a few hours. Or, um, you know, taking that time when you first wake up, you know, you got your, you know, your man or your woman or whatever. You spend time with them, you know, y'all off of work or whatever. And you may leave later. You know, they want you to just go ahead and take that time out for yourself. Show gratitude to the universe, you know. Just thankful you got a roof over your head. Thankful you got food on your table. You know, um, you got clothes on your back, you got heat, you got water, you know, different things like that, you know, and, and it's just like you start getting challenged just test after test after test after test just to um, put you in alignment for what they got for you. And a lot of times those things can really hit you hard and it can really challenge your patience as well as your faith and belief within yourself and within the universe, you know, and they always, you know, they always show you in subtle ways how they got your back. You know, and you always got to say thank, thank, you know, when you're waking up and you're just like grateful, you know, it could have been five dollars you found in your washing machine. Thank them for that. Or it could have been twenty dollar bill, you know, seen, you know, on the side of the road where you just so happen to have to tie your shoe and stuff like that. Thank them for that. You know, and it's just like they know all the different things that you're going through, but they want to show you. You know, when you allow yourself to look back, and I know a lot of times when we're going through too much, so much, we tend to pay attention more to the negative things than the positive things that are going on in our lives. And they really want you to be able to see those as life lessons. You know, and a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that. See as life, life lessons that is going on. You know, if, if someone has left your life or something like that, you have to understand not everybody's meant to stay in your life. You know, we are both learning from a lot of people because it's just like it could be somebody you they mirror you to a T. They mirror you to a T. But you have to understand these are connections y'all have from different lifespans, different lifespans. And um, this was that time where, you know, it's been so repetitive because you've always had an issue with that person from every life. And this is that time where it's the final. Everything is final in this lifespan. Like whatever has been carrying on has been carrying on from different past lives and so it could be something that y'all mirror that exact moment and next thing you know it's just like an in and out situation y'all could be talking for a couple of weeks a couple of months and boom you know something happens y'all already learned your life lessons with each other whether it ended abruptly is in bad or abruptly is in good you know um just being able to say you know uh, you, a lot of times we have you know we're spiritual beings with human experience <laughs> You know, spiritual beings with human experience. So a lot of times, you know, it, it'll make you not want to deal with people um, and make you, you know, your trust situation go up. And it's just like these are the things you have to be able to do. And they know how hard, you know, especially if you've been in situations where it's hard for you to trust people. You know, everything happens for a reason. And these are the things that, you know, you had to be able that, that was your revelation through those connections on being able to show you what you need to know you're even learning a lot through your karmic cycles as well you know um it's just i don't know what it is but it just feels like there was a huge shift and i'm starting to see a lot of different a lot of things differently instead of uh attacking myself for certain things i'm starting to allow myself to really see it for what it is and just like oh okay you know so i had to be able to take that time out for myself and we're having to do that because it's just like that when that we we just had the 222 portal and then that one happened. And I think it's something Jupiter over Pluto. I don't remember who what it is, but whatever those planets are, they're revealing. They're allowing the old to dissolve so the new can step forth. You know, um, you're getting um, different opportunities is coming to your life. You might might be getting more creative ideas. And if you're noticing, because a lot of times when we're going through stuff and it just seems like it, it can come. You know, 
like a ripple effect and it's just like here we go here we go you know just aggravate it you know it could be your car done broke down next thing you know your washing machine broke next thing you know you have a water leak you know in your house you know then you know it'll be something back to back to back to back and it's really challenging you just to see um are you there are certain things you control they always tell you the main things you can control especially when you have mishaps is how you deal with it how you see it and how you tend to move forward while that's going on those are the three things you can control unless it's something that you know you can change out of that mishap and i'm telling you take that chance you know take that leap you know do different things in a, in a creative way and being able to know that because it was just like after these last few days i mean it's been so relaxing but it helped me clear my mind on so many different things and it's just like right now we're going through a spiral effect and a spiral effect is like certain things that you may have thought you have healed from or you may have begin, uh, 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 you, you may have thought you have gotten peace from those certain situations and it's letting you know and it'll come back up. And a lot of times you may have, you know, you may have cleared that out or you thought you have cleared that out. It's coming up to really tell you pay attention. To what that sequence of event is really telling you maybe somebody shamed you in some kind of way and it's allowing you to say don't feel shameful you know even if this is embarrassing to you you know you know you know more now than you did back then and a lot of times it could be you know uh when it came to a other person or something like that and it was just showing you you know don't take it personal it was more about them and less about you even though it was you know directed towards you it's a lot of things you know you have to know that nobody's perfect you know we all got our coping mechanisms we all got our projections we all got our fears we all got our pain you know and you know it, it there's different ways on how you know we deal with them and so you know these are the things that open us up for another uh, you know a vibration a higher vibration where you can really see things um, and being able to make those shifts within yourself you know how am I going to go about it you know I have goals that I'm really trying to have you know like that word goal but you know there's a lot of things that you're trying to manifest you may have a, a manifesting board on what you have put down that you want to be able to do you know this short term long term you know different things that you're doing and they said just take little baby steps on that you really don't realize when you take those little baby steps that you have you know it, it can impact your life in a big way so they're telling you even if it's just like okay you're trying to lose weight now you can you know but you really don't have that that time to really fit into your busy schedule even if it was to walk even for you to be walking like if you you are at your job you know some p people where you can be at your job you can leave for lunch you know or whatever you might have an hour hour and a half maybe even two hours if you're lucky you know for that you know you can eat you a light lunch you know make sure you've got plenty of water you know um and allow yourself to walk for like 30 40 40 minutes you know every day if you have a chance to you know during your break it helps you clear your mind it, you know get your thoughts together you know get out of your head especially if it's about negative vibrations you know what i say things are coming up is really coming up but they're just wanting you to know this is no longer needed but allow yourself to release show gratitude to whatever it is because it showed you something um it taught you a lot of different things um you're probably going through a lot of situations where you're hearing ear ringing a lot lately you know it can make you feel cloudy you know you're probably having brain fogs like i'm really trying to f <laughs> you know i'm really trying to focus on where i gotta go but it's like your head's in the clouds a lot right now and, and you're going through that because you're having a lot of things that's manifesting right now and you're excuse me y'all and going through a lot of clearing a lot of purging letting go cutting cords you know cutting you know tearing up contracts you know you're doing all that right now you know and you you may even you starting to see the karma wheel that's coming in you know from all different things that's coming in it's just clearing out everything whether it's good or bad it's clearing it out you know um and it's showing you giving you that energy that motivation and you can keep on going you know you're clearing out a lot of different things that you've been holding on for so long you're actually finally doing the things that you said you're going to do and putting it in action and that's why they're telling you you know recalibrate um reset you know you're resetting yourself they're telling you to go in solitude if you're starting to see you know certain animals you know um uh, 
maybe you know if you see a lamb that's rebirth if you're seeing a koala this is time for you to get that reset that rest you know a tiger resilience all those different things you know an owl there's certain things that's hidden right in front of you that you really need to take pay close attention to or you're hearing or even if you see like the tarot card if you do a lot of tarot card readings you may see something that says rest retreat that's that time they tell you to take time out for yourself you know because a lot of times with us being empaths or whatever you you have to take that time for yourself because it's like even though you're a light worker you still supposed to make time for your self-care and you really need to do that so um while you're going through these different things you may be having symptoms of waking up in the different odd times of the night because you're receiving downloads you know there's messages that they want you uh to know and it's just like you asking universe what is it that you're trying to tell me what is it that i need to know and you know and so when it comes in like that you're able to receive that and you can take your butt right back to sleep <laughs> you know or you've been having these really crazy dreams i, I mean i i've been I, I've been having some really wild ones, and I'm just like, what the? <laughs> you know, what you know, like what? The okay, but yeah, hopefully, you know, um, this this is going through a major clearing uh, episode for you um, that is taking place that really, really, really needed to happen. But I put a post up, and they wanted me to use that because it's just like so many different things they're guiding me to tell y'all about. Um, you may not. You know, you may not look, uh, know where to look at. It's like you're you're going through accelerating transformation. Um, and you're going to get a lot of downloads through your crown chakra. You know, you're clearing out old energy. You know, these different things that you no longer can hold on to anymore. You know, you've held on to them for a long time. You know, a lot of times we, we hold negative parts of ourselves. It's like trauma bonding. You know, you hold on to that like it's a security blanket. Now it's allowing you to let go of that. It's allowing you to say, you know what, you've held on to that for a long time. This is that time to place that down. You know, forgive. Allow yourself to say prayers for whatever and whoever that situation pertains to. And allowing yourself to move forward on that. Because you really deserve that. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of the video, y'all. Yeah, I'm going all natural today. That's so I just wanted my head to breathe. Um, especially all them downloads I was giving give me a headache. So I was just like, so I allow myself to have my um my hair all down today. But I would love to give a post notification shout out to spirit uh spiritual self mastery. Much love to you and welcome to the fam. And Blue River and Baby Stig, much love to you, baby. So, you know, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. Y'all missed y'all so much, but I had, like I tell y'all, I got to go in for self-care. I got to do it. Got to do it. So, you know, make sure you're drinking plenty of water, getting your, your reset, you know, allowing yourself to know this is your time. You know, you're going to be resilient. You got victory coming in um, for yourself in so many ways. And these are blessings that you have truly earned. And, you know, you've been waiting for them, maybe more than what you expected. So allow yourself to do that because you truly deserve that. You know, whatever you're trying to manifest into your life, I put it on your vibrations that you're going to get so much more than you ever expected uh, or even anticipated. And it comes so much sooner than you predicted it. And even through social distancing, make sure you give out, uh, you know, much love, words, you know, vibes of wisdom and frequency. You know, you never know. All those things will really take someone a long way. And please be safe and responsible at every single thing you do. Um, I leave all my contact information in the description box below if you ever want to get in contact with me. You know, it's just about spiritual networking. You know, a lot of people get in touch with me, you know, just to be able to let me know what's going on in their life and how to move towards that. You know, I love being able to help others, you know, just being able to give you a deeper understanding of your passive purpose and let you know, you know, these things we go through. Nothing is normal. And it, there's nothing really crazy I haven't heard yet. So, um, you know, whatever you're going through, don't feel uh, bashful or any shame of you going through something or whatever. You know, a lot of people, you know, connect with me. Just being able to say, Roz, is this normal? We're not normal. We're very unique and very rare. We're a limited edition. <laughs> okay? So don't do that. Don't do that to yourself. But, you know, just being able to connect with you and, you know, being able to give you a deeper understanding, you know, just connect with me. Whatever we speak on is confidential. And you'll see me on my next video. Much love to you. Peace.